So hello everyone, I'll be holding the Structure and Design Masterclass this year. I'll be talking about, uh, talking about my process about uh, choosing like concept art and going uh, like building uh, building from uh, reference uh, pictures. So it's quite a good start to when you start about start building, it's quite uh, useful to use uh, reference art uh, to get a better, better, uh, clearer picture about what you're building and like, the goal of your uh, of the project. So, but you don't really need to follow the same. Uh, like copy it exactly, so I can show some, uh, some references. So this picture, I have it on stream now. Uh, it's uh, can show. So that's the reference for this ship actually. So it's a train station, but I used it for a spaceship. So you can see like the window, it's uh, got inspired from the picture. So like quite unique design as well as the like rounded shape of the like front building. So you don't really need to like copy stuff completely. You can get like uh, ideas and like uh, shapes from uh, pictures. You don't really need to build uh, block by block as the picture, I guess. So like on these mechs as well, I got like uh, like some simple shapes that were the like inspiration for the for the build. Uh, let me go back. And it's uh, so like from building building from uh, reference pictures. It's quite good to to like. Uh, make your building library bigger. So what, what I mean with that is uh, you, you get to know like how to make uh, window designs and uh, how to, how it's actually like, uh, uh, like laid out in a real building. So Um, so it, uh, it's like gets uh, using uh, reference pictures like will help you later on when you don't don't really need to use uh, reference picture for like a original concept. Uh, so. Let me see if I can find a. Uh, so I usually, for my like reference pictures, I usually look at uh, ArtStation. It's quite good for like, it has a lot of uh, different uh, styles and like, yeah. Yeah, most of the artists are on there, so it's quite easy to find artworks you like. It has like organic stuff as well, if you into that. I don't, I'm not good at organics, but I like did some here. It's, I feel like it's nice to like uh, include some in your builds. It gives quite a lot to the like atmosphere. Uh, 
Uh, need to read chat more, I guess. Uh, Yeah, I should maybe like mention the the numbers more so you guys can follow better. Um, so I guess I can talk about uh, uh, number one. Uh, so I feel like uh, a lot of uh, people building uh, like doesn't usually. Don't really use like uh, composition that well, uh, and like um, the positioning of buildings. Uh, so I'll be talking about that, I guess. Uh, so it's really good to have like uh, hero objects in your like composition or like building. It doesn't really need so I usually do like these like uh, scenes I guess for Twitter it's quite nice uh, but I guess you can use this for like bigger maps like marketplace maps as well it doesn't really matter uh, as long as you have like a main pathways works either way uh, so having like um, hero objects like this and this this uh, so like that you want uh, the like uh, view like the player to like look at like the main main focus of the build or uh, something like that so having like uh, hero objects with um, stuff pointing towards i think uh, pointing towards it i think uh, Chris mentioned this in his master class as well. So having like objects uh, or like lines pointing towards uh, where the player should like look at or l have their eye <coughs> is quite useful. So like this and this and uh, or I should I shouldn't really say this and this. I should mention the front front left tower and the main like uh, main castle castle type uh, structure with sandstone and there i should mention their like uh, block choice as well they're quite unique towards the rest of the build so that helps with leading the eye So, uh, I could, uh, not sure if I should mention more about that, uh, I could go into, go into, um, like planning, so how I do my planning, so if you can see here on the, like, uh, building steps, the small small building steps uh, I did some houses like really small houses like a sci-fi house futuristic house and a, like a traditional modern house that's usually like in Sweden uh, so the building steps are quite so the planning at least I usually start with like a simple layout of the Of the house, uh, it's quite uh, on the bigger buildings. I, I usually do like a wireframe. You can see here. I should maybe turn up the brightness. Wireframe like this, uh, like around the bigger, bigger structures. On the smaller building, I build like if I had, I don't really need uh, like a 
wireframe then. Yeah, night vision works fine. Can, yeah, as you can see here. Yeah, it's, I don't really do a lot of interiors, so uh, yeah. So let's talk about. Uh, I did talk about structural layout. Uh, I can talk about uh, like non traditional uh, structures, like. Uh, organic structures so right now i'm at uh, number six at the mix and the uh, floating island so <laughs> so uh, like the floating island it's a uh, like a like a organical type uh, tower with uh, like uh, like a witch, witch type feel, or like a wizard, wizard tower. Uh, it's quite different to like working with um, organical type structures because it's more, more than more, uh, more, more use of like. Uh, brushes and uh, doing with swe spheres but I guess uh, I'm not really sure how I should explain that it's uh, can can show here so how I did this tower is like doing uh, can do night vision did like uh, cylinders so I just made a lot of cylinders going up and then and then I smoothed it out like by hand on the, on the outside And I'm not sure if I did the same here. Uh, yeah, I did the same here, but then I like shifted the, the cylinders a bit, it's like uh, having a like a curve to it. Oh, you you guys wanna go into me? I'm at the floating island, number six. Yeah. Okay, I'll continue, I guess. Uh, so, so we can talk about the mix. So that's. How I did those are like can turn off night vision as well. Uh, I did like a basic cube, cube shape, and then uh, I started with like doing indents like uh, this, uh, this like this gap here and uh, stuff like this. And then I started like uh, adding legs it's quite hard to explain my process I should have shown it uh, I guess what's like steps but uh, yeah it's um, I usually just do like multiple passes of detail till I'm happy with the result so like 
for example, I add like this and then, oh, maybe it would be cool to add, have some banners here pointing towards the entrance of the mech. So I added those and uh, like all banners here to like, sim like symbolize that the, the mining, mining, um, mining drill here is like dangerous and you shouldn't step like under it. Uh, stuff like that so it's quite a lot of like thinking about what you what you what's uh, like uh, uh, I guess logical and uh, what would actually be there in uh, if it would be like uh, like a physical uh, physical uh, like robot or a building so the, the other mech is the same process pretty much quite uh, it's not as good I feel like it's the like composition of it is not not like as great I feel like this leg is too too long but uh, and the back legs are really bad in my opinion uh, so what can I do next uh, so scale I can talk about a bit so I usually like work in uh, player scale most of my builds it's pretty like it's the easiest to work in I feel like it's like the most useful, I guess. Uh, this is maybe not, uh, maybe 2.5, I guess. This uh, spaceship, why is this? Uh, or 1.5, I mean, yeah, questions, I can, Answer some questions now, I guess. If you have any this far, is it better to detail all at once or at the end? Just per structure. So I usually do like when I do big cities. Uh, like this or this is not big but like bigger cities uh, I usually do one one structure completely done like with everything so you have a reference towards the other buildings like how you do certain like windows and stuff so so the whole city has like uh, a consistent uh, theme or like uh, uh, works together but I usually do like each each building one by one so uh, I don't really do like do all all buildings towards this stage like the second to last stage first I usually do like one at a time uh, Okay, so what can we do now? So I I, I see a lot of people using uh, like forty five degree. I'm at uh, plot four now, or building four, or yeah. Uh, I see a lot of people using like forty five degree houses quite a lot and I feel like it's it's really hard to make that look good in a building uh, I would rather I would rather uh, sacrifice like a layout uh, than a 45 degree I'm not sure if that makes sense but like uh, if you would need, really need a 45 degree building, you, I would rather sacrifice the, 
the layout towards that, like a building like this. It's like a, uh, I guess it's like a, okay, sure. Question. Oh, I, I only do like manual, manual buildings. I don't really rotate anything. I do. I usually do like, uh, I can show you, I do like, uh, I do like this. Oops. And then I stack. <laughs> That's that's how I do it. <laughs> um, it's uh, I usually build like super easy. I only use really super easy commands, and I don't really like using comp complicated stuff. Um, that's how I build. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> It's uh, really useful. Yeah, I like uh, building off axes is really could be really nice in cities and stuff, especially like uh, modern and like uh, realism, realistic uh, stuff, and uh, it really adds a lot of uh, like. Uh, life to your uh, to your composition and uh, to your cities but i would uh, stay away from 45 it doesn't it's really hard to make it look good especially like the whole building being 45 it could look good if you're like doing a part or bigger scale uh, yeah it tends to be look really jagged uh, yeah i agree it uh, it's really hard to make, uh, pull off like you can see here i would this is as far as i would go on a, like a on like a uh, angled building i'm at uh, showcase number two right now Yeah, it's hard to detail as well. Okay, uh, so what can we do now? Uh, I guess I can talk about uh, my detailing process. So if you look at the steps I did, you can see quite a big difference between uh, like the number number six and seven. <laughs> I usually get carried carried away when I do detailing. I usually start with like uh, w doing windows and windows and doors and uh, like. Uh, Objects that need to be uh, on certain heights and stuff, and then I add like uh, like filler objects, if you can say, like between those elements, to like fill out uh, fill out the uh, canvas. Can you say that? Uh, is it really necessary to use wool slash other colored blocks than original color in the base? Uh, so I usually just, I think you're referring to this stage, I usually just do, it's easy to, so wool has like different IDs. I like, I know all the IDs, so it's really easy to replace like wool for like 
3510 to to uh, why does this that's weird um, to like uh, a different type different block so it makes the process from going to this to this easier but I guess you could uh, as well it's easier to like change block as well if you don't like uh, these blocks you can just change to like maybe a darker block or lighter or like a color so it makes the like building process easier I would I usually my use uh, more contrast between these blocks but I, I felt like this looked nice so I used that <laughs> um, anyways uh -huh. Yeah, diamonds and gold blocks are super nice as well. Uh, I usually I, I use a lot of sponge as well. That's nice. Yeah, sponge best block. Uh, yeah. So I'm not sure if I finished detailing. Uh, Walking through detailing. Uh, so detailing, it's a lot of like you need to learn, need to like yeah, do a lot of detailing to know like what you can add or what you can't add. Like elements like this. Oh, this is like real nice touch. Adds a lot of like depth and. Uh, like it adds uh, it's like um yeah it adds quite a lot to the building I'm not sure how i should put it and like uh, for example these like water draining holes could be real nice on modern like uh, or sci-fi buildings uh, for like the water if it's raining, it could like uh, drain out here. Quite nice. And like pipes and stuff. Uh, how do I texture my buildings? So, if you look at uh, number one showcase number one you can see a lot of like small texturing but there's not of a big contrast between the blocks i feel like um, a lot of people in the building community texture like super uh, like they put way too much contrast between the between the different block uh, types uh, so, like uh, sandstone and sand is really really close to each other, so I feel like that's uh, really nice. Like, doesn't distract the eye when you're looking at it. It, but it like adds quite a lot when you're close. Uh, you can like see the that here as well it's not that big of a difference between the colors so I texture when I I, I use what is the feather no I forgot uh, what is it <laughs> oh they don't have that here um, I use uh, Uh, Arcania, Arcanion's uh, plugins, so, so like go paint and uh, go brush. So go paint is for texturing and uh, go brush is for like terrain stuff. But I guess uh, I guess I used some, yeah, I guess I used some like balls here. Anyways, that's that's for a different masterclass. I I'm holding structure so. I'm not gonna focus on my train. 
Uh, yeah, I haven't used Revolt that much. Uh, it's I saw Arcanix uh, Masculine, it was really interesting and useful. I'll be starting using it more often. Anyways, uh, so texturing. Uh, so I like to use um, not like uh, not so much contrast between the textures. You can see the it out here on the number two at the terrain as well. So like try to do like pixelated uh, texturing. It's really stylized, I guess. Uh, so do like small cubes or blobs, it doesn't really matter. Cubes or blobs are fine. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, so I do like uh, not a lot of contrast because I want, uh, for example, these walls to contrast contrast uh, to the roof instead of the like wall contrasting to the wall it doesn't really doesn't really look good if if that that's the case it would look like a lot of would look it would look uh, cluttered i guess i'd say if it's uh, like textured way too way too much Oh, it's, is it lagging? Yeah, my mic is maybe not uh, picking up everything. It uh, might be a problem, but... Okay, so... Coloring... Uh, I guess we can... Uh, to get some different uh, let me see uh, some interesting colors so on the last one five I didn't really use I guess I used like blobs and stuff but is not as uh, they're quite bigger to get like a more organic uh, like a rundown feeling uh, so then I use like stairs to detail like add sm smaller details to the to the structure adds adds quite a lot it's supposed to be like a train here as well how much time do i have like, uh, fit wait no it's like uh, half an hour Do you guys have any questions? Can you please explain where you place details like windows and that stuff? Yeah, sure. So I I can show should I use this as a reference? I guess it's fine. Uh, so I usually just uh, fly around <laughs> at uh, look at the build and then where I find uh, where I feel like it needs windows I put them there it's not really that advanced <laughs> I just uh, like feel like where, where it looks good I add windows and uh, afterwards if it's like uh, a window here and a window here uh, like two levels like being in the same 
same space, I usually remove remove them and make it different. Yeah, like break up surfaces with windows works great. Uh, you can maybe see some here. I'm not sure. Like here, maybe. I, I guess that's not windows. Yeah. Doesn't really work on this project. Was there any more questions? Uh, okay, questions? So if I have set palettes for my structures, I usually just uh, I, I like think when I before I start the project, I think about like what colors I could use in that specific project, and then I try to work towards that. But sometimes I change like completely. Uh, but I don't really have a specific like a fixed uh, palette when I work. So like unnecessary like um, plain walls might be like a, it might be good to have some uh, parts like un, undecorated. Uh, you don't need to fill up everything you have. Like for instance here you have like a, quite a lot of parts that are like undetailed. Like uh, every every nook and cranny doesn't need to have detail, uh, especially on like bigger bigger builds. See a lot of people like re overdoing uh, details. Do you always use reference picture? So I usually get, uh, I rarely use reference picture. I usually be, like get ideas. I browse, so I browse like ArtStation and uh, I see something I like. And uh, for example, I'm not sure if I will be able to find it, but you might uh, see in like uh, a city like this. Uh, so I got that, so that's from a reference picture, and then I added like a mech that thought it would be a nice uh, feature to the build, or a city. But I don't really use, I just use reference pictures for uh, the ideas or like uh, concept. I don't really follow them that strictly. When I build, uh, was there any questions I missed? Uh, how do you plan those complex builds? Uh, so I guess uh, you're referring to number one. I guess that's the most complex I have. So I don't really plan. <laughs> I just build and then it turns out uh, something. I mean, I kind of plan, like I do some uh, like wireframes for the bigger stuff, but 
uh, like these buildings I just build by build as I go I don't really like plan plan uh, plan like these smaller smaller types Oh, you, you like my cursor? Yeah. It's the Windows 7 cursor. It's You can download it. It's online. When I build Cypher, how do I start? Uh, <laughs> you can see here <laughs> how I start. I start with that and go towards this. Um, <laughs> it's... Um, I. Quite, uh, I usually start my projects like the same way, um, like with layout and then just add uh, walls and color. It's, I can't really, I don't really know how to explain it. Um, like, uh, in a different way. <laughs> Did I explain, I'm not sure if I explained it properly. How I planned my like bigger structures. Yeah, <laughs> just start forehead, exactly. Do I even do interiors for my builds? Uh, so I usually build for uh, Twitter, uh, mostly for uh, like posting on Twitter. I I think it's super fun to post like. Uh, unique ideas on Twitter uh, so I rarely I don't feel like uh, it's quite hard to show interiors on like screenshots so I rarely do them I'm not sure if I even have like some uh, interiors here no not on these, but on other projects I have done interiors and like marketplace stuff I do interiors uh, but uh, these don't have any interiors uh, Did I miss something? Uh, So, so I guess you guys are referring to that these are just like the layout are the same. I used, uh, I only used uh, the same layout because I thought it would be fun to. Uh, <laughs> having the same layout to like different styles so you don't really need to have a I guess when you're doing like uh, trying to recreate a different like a unique style of course you need a unique layout if that style you like that building architectural style is necessary or it's necessary to have a unique uh, uh, Layout. It's of course you need to do that layout, but uh, so uh, yeah, I can do uh, like a live build. I'm not. I have like uh, fifteen minutes. Uh, was there any more questions? Do you have any reference pics for the surface? So I showed it earlier. Uh, Oops, that's... Uh, let me <laughs> remove that. So this is the reference picture for the for the ship number three. Uh, it's actually a train station, but I used it for for a spaceship. I I like the like shape of the window and the shape of the. Shape of the roof and stuff. 
Let me go back to the game. Okay, was there any more questions I missed? Uh, I can do... What style do you guys want me to build in? On the live build. Medieval? No. I hate medieval, but... Uh, <laughs> overdone. Medieval. Sci-fi fantasy. Fantasy. I mean, I have like 15 minutes, so... Uh. Steampunk, steampunk, steampunk... Uh, Sci-fi... Okay, uh, I think uh, you you guys are spamming steampunk. Uh, <laughs> or you, one person is spamming steampunk. Let's do sp steampunk then. So like, uh, I guess, like... Uh, okay, um... I need my X. So I usually do like yeah, usually use walls a lot. How big should it be? Uh, maybe fifteen. Where are you? Uh, I'm at the uh, like uh, step by step houses. I'm building at the like last uh, area. We can raise this as well. So I guess you can see a uh, like similarity towards uh, the other ones. So you stack these. Uh, I don't like this goes the whole way. I maybe you should do like a, like a tower type thing. Is that a square? That's not a square, okay. So I usually just do like a rough. Uh, I, I actually I you I actually quite actually I can't speak. Oh my god. Uh, I focus quite a lot of uh, on doing like the um, I say like a lot. Uh, I focus a lot on the layout of the build. Uh, I feel like it's useful because uh, you don't really need to think later on when you're doing details and stuff on the layout. Nice to have it done when you're when you're working on the other parts.
Okay, so this is a bit too low for being a steampunk, but uh, guess we can work with it. I can sh uh, send my command list. I only use. Uh, Like really simple commands when I do structures. Uh, I can show send it in Discord maybe. That's easier. So I might be using more. Yeah, walls is it on there? Uh, Yeah, walls are close to stack, but just you don't need to do like a layout at first. Okay, uh, maybe I'll do uh, I think I'll uh, make it uh, <laughs> like a sci-fi build instead. Uh, I feel like the shape is <laughs> is uh, better for that. So I want to have like a maybe like a pathway here. So I usually do like um, delete stuff and like add. Uh, like add pathways and stuff. While I'm in the in the planning stage, how much is this five? This should be blue, I guess. Okay. Uh, I guess we can do some colors, add some colors to it. Maybe do like a green, green and white could work. I could do like a, like a eco-friendly type building. So replace, uh, Eco future, yeah. Oh, BV to make structures. Interesting. Are they hollow then? Uh, Maybe it should be like a uh, gray here. It's a two. I feel like this is way too cluttered. Yeah, this should be. Maybe like that. Can add uh, uh, like uh, ceilings or the roofs, I guess. Oops. Uh, 
should that no yeah but if I like the other ones I feel like it's nice um uh, is there any questions doesn't seem like it uh so I'm just filling these roofs like that uh oh I need to like this where the uh, like overhang I might do like a like a pillar here that look good so at this stage I would usually I guess it's like a here now I'd usually like uh, start doing windows and uh, adding like slab details uh, so we can do that. I want to have like uh, windows here. Then like... Uh, maybe like a band here, like color band, might look good. So when I do my detail or like uh, windows and such, uh, I just uh, fly around and punch holes. <laughs> it's not really really that uh, that advanced I rarely as well I rarely put uh, like wind like uh, actual glass uh, like on the outside block I uh, do like slabs or stairs <coughs> I do when I do interiors however I do put uh, glass on the inside so like that it doesn't look good with the good look it doesn't look good with the oops if that looks better. Yeah. I don't really, uh, I shouldn't really do the whole, whole building. Uh, I should only do the, like one side, I guess. So it doesn't, I don't really waste time. Uh, Okay, so add some details maybe, like uh, down here, like this, uh, nice, so I just add like details that are, that I'm used to actually, like I've done before, sometimes I, when I do like new stuff I try to do like add uh, new details maybe I can do like a mm. <coughs> so 
or above that. Add some like uh, iron trap to us. No, it doesn't look good. Yeah, it looks like a ghast. Yeah, I agree. It needs a window here. This is not going as planned. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, so I can do like some uh, Do some white panels like I did here. I want to do like a lip here, maybe. I'll try to finish off this quick. It's been, I think it's been an hour now. Okay, uh. so I usually just add uh, like two point two and a half uh, blocks doors, or I can add. Uh, I can do roof details. Adding like these. Uh, Oops. Adding these lights towards like so helicopters and like planes and stuff doesn't it's like warning say warning lights I guess you would call it. I usually add like uh, details like this, quite nice. Like stairs in the in the roof. Is there any questions? Uh, sorry about the <laughs> boring, boring building process. Usually a spam button, so it adds like a, a bit of detail. Still don't like this color. Uh, I 
Maybe I need to change this. I like a good, uh, darker background color. something uh, I don't really like it but uh, it's too much uh, steps I feel like Is there any questions? Uh, how long does it take to finish a build? So all these builds, well like one, two, three, four maybe. I think uh, the first build took like 40 hours, number one, 42 hours I think total was. Uh, uh, number two was like a week. Uh, the ship was uh, how long was it? Maybe two weeks. I'm not sure about hours exactly. Uh, four was a week. Any tools I wished for? Uh, hmm. Maybe like a maybe like a random. It would be. I th feel like it would be nice to have like a. Uh, generator who would like uh, put out like uh, stuff like this feel like that would be quite nice i'm not that would be yeah random cubes so makes it easier to like uh, brainstorm ideas like oh i see a shape and might like uh, do something about it. Yeah, lines or like uh, full cubes like this. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. I guess there could be like options, like uh, if you want it hollow or not, and just lines. If, is there any more questions you want answered? Or should I wrap it up? Yeah, outlines would be easy, yeah. Okay, so I guess there's no more questions. I'll uh, thank you guys for stopping by and listening to my listening to my masterclass. Hope you got something useful out of it. Uh, yeah. See you guys next year. <laughs> Bye.